Are you a subject matter expert who struggles to speak with confidence? Are you losing career opportunities and feeling stuck because of your stage fear and nervousness during presentations? Isn't that affecting your happiness and your family's future? Welcome to the Confident Man Show with Mr. Bashal Sarkar, India's celebrity expert in practical public speaking, where he shows you how to speak with confidence, deliver rock-solid confident presentations in front of decision makers without any stage fear. Would you like to become the confident man, gain more respect, and enjoy a happy life? Then listen carefully because this is showtime. For knowing more about the upcoming practical public speaking courses and opportunities to get mentored by Mr. Bishal himself, go to bishalsarkar.com. Again, you can go to bishalsarkar.com for more information about having a conversation with our team members about your situation. Show starts now. Three, two, one, let's go. Everybody has some temptations and some cravings. So I got a question for you. How do you tame your temptations? Hey, this is Bishal Sarkar, your practical public speaking mentor, author of the book, I Love Public Speaking, and creator of the Confident Speaker Conference, where I show you and subject matter experts like you exactly how to become a confident speaker so that you can reach the highest level in your career by becoming a strong leader so that you can enjoy more time freedom with your loved ones, your family, while having greater level of social respect and so that ultimately you can live with happiness for the rest of your life without stress, struggle and sacrifice, but with passion, purpose, power and peace of mind and today we have a great opportunity our opportunity in this world today as professionals and human beings is that we have an opportunity to share our message sometimes you share your message uh, to your team members sometimes to your colleagues sometimes to your managers your leaders sometimes to your community sometimes to your kids but for the last hundred years the voice that we have has been suppressed by other people we have been controlled by other people. And the opportunity that we have today is we have the passion, the power, and the purpose in our hands and in your hand to really live your message and completely be an authentic human being. That's how you can become a confident speaker. But we got a lot of problems as well. What is that problem, Michelle? Well, the major problem that we have today is that even though we have a lot of knowledge, a lot of experience, we have many people have great level of information. They have studied a lot, spent years in college, university, getting certifications, degrees. PhD, but the problem is that even after all those knowledge, most people are still not confident speakers. So even though they have a lot of certificates and book knowledge and real life knowledge and information and wisdom, but when they have to give the presentation in front of a few people, let's say 25, 35, 100 people in a small boardroom or an office meeting room or on a stage, they shiver. In fact, it's been proven that public speaking is the number one fear in the world today. So that's a problem that many people have. And that's the opportunity for you. If you really want to live with passion, power, and have the peace of mind for yourself, you need to overcome this challenge. In fact, the first pr person that comes to my mind when I talk about this is this person, Gajanana. G-A-J-A-N-A-N-A. -A -A -A. He's a number wonderful person. He came to one of my programs a couple of months ago. But the reason I remember him at this moment is when Gajanana first came to came to us, he was having a lot of stage fear. You know, he has been losing some opportunities in his career. He was not able to connect with an audience. And he, his promotion was on hold for a long, long period of time. And he did not know how to overcome that. And he understood that he could not do it alone. You know, maybe you are in a situation where you have been trying to solve your problem on your own and sooner or later you'll realize that sometimes you need a help of a doctor or an expert or a dentist. You know, you can't do it on your own. You can't do the surgery on your own. That's why you need a coach. You need a mentor. You need a um, professional accountability coach who can help you overcome your limiting beliefs, make you a confident speaker and so that you can live your dreams and live your passion, power and, and peace of mind. So he came to me. And I'm so, so happy that Gajanana, in fact, he gave a review recently. Uh, he absolutely is a confident speaker right now. In fact, I'm, I'm going to read the, the, the review for you right now. I'm reading it. I'm just finding it on Google. And it says, Gajanana L., um, 
this course is as so i'm just reading out right now okay this course is excellent and really worth it best practical public speaking course that one can attend apart from public speaking skills you get to get a lot of life skills in the program as well i'm able to connect with audience now no matter whom i'm speaking to i felt that i should have done this course 15 years before highly recommend this course not worth missing Boom! That's awesome, Gajan. I'm so happy for you that you're doing this. And in fact, this is my message for you as well. If you really want to do this, this is your opportunity. And we are talking today about how to tame your temptations. Because we all human beings have some temptations. And in fact, in the next few minutes, I'm going to give you five specific, the big time temptations that most people have um, that actually um, limit them. And the reason we are talking about it today is because if you don't discipline your temptations, your temptations will discipline you. If you don't program your mind, your mind will program you. If you do not control your craving, your craving will control you. Make sense? So you're about to receive five different examples of the major big time um, temptations that most people have, the five different categories I'm going to tell you right now. And if you find out which ones you have and how to overcome them. In fact, when, when people come to me for a one-on-one -on -one coaching program, it's a very, very expensive, high-level, high-value program. It's not for everybody. It's high-level in terms of value. Uh, for people, it's high-level in terms of the investment that they get to make in themselves uh, through me in the program. And the I, I, I walked them through literally, and I, I asked them this question that, hey, um, which one of these things you're having? And they say, Mr. Bashar, you know, this, now I understand why I have not um, been as successful that I wanted to be so far. Um, and I'm going to give you those five things right now. Okay, so ready? Number one craving or temptation that most people have in today's world is the snooze button. <laughs> the snooze button on your phone. So many people put an alarm clock and, uh, you know, at 6, 6.30, 5, 5.30, 7, 7.30, whatever the time is. And the first major temptation, the unconscious temptation that they have when the alarm clock hits, brrr, kring, 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 they hit the snooze button, which is turns it off. And maybe 10, 15 minutes later on, the alarm clock plays again. Now think about it. What does it do for your subconscious mind? Okay, very important thing. Think about it. If you are starting your day with procrastination <laughs> by hitting the snooze button, you're literally training your subconscious mind to make you procrastinate for the rest of the day. Make sense? So what can you do? Well, first of all, if you are putting an alarm clock, don't ever from this moment um, hit the snooze button. In fact, this snooze button is actually a metaphor here as well, apart from the physical snooze button, a metaphor for procrastination. Many people, you know, they are always hitting the snooze button. I'll do it later on. I'll do it later on. It's not a good thing. So I'll give an example. Just uh, this uh, this afternoon, I was having a conversation with one of my clients, one of the members of the Balanced Life Mastermind, which is a high-end mastermind for people who want to have a completely balanced life. It's a one-year mentorship program with me, and um, uh, it's a group program. And, and one of the members in that program is somebody that I really admire um, and, and, and I really respect. Her name is Kalpana. Kalpana Muralidhar from Bangalore. She owns a school called Heritage. And, you know, more than the more than the owner of the school, she's a beautiful human being, you know, from the soul level. She she is such passionate about impacting people. And in fact, she came to my program just a few months ago in the same program that Gajanana was at. And Kalpana improved so much in public speaking. She said, you know what? I want to take it to another level. If, if I come to a two-day program with you, Vishal, and improve so much in public speaking, I wonder what a one-year mentorship with you looks like. I said, it's going to be tough. It's going to be powerful. You're going to see a lot of results. But at the same time, it's not going to be easy because I'm going to tell you to do the things that you're not comfortable doing and she said Bishal I'm all in because I want to see my best life I said sure so this afternoon I was having, having a conversation and here's the thing she has um, she wanted to do some videos just like you see my videos she wanted to do some videos why she wanted to talk about her school so she um, you know ma recorded a few few of her videos but she never posted them right so this afternoon I reached out to her one-on-one -on, -one on, a, on a quick message on whatsapp and I said hey Kalpana um, you know, t tell me about what's going on. And we had a conversation back and forth. I'm not always online. Then uh, I, I went, you know, to do some work and I was coming back. And I remember it was 7.42 p.m. Uh, in the evening and um, 7.37, 7.42 specifically. And uh, I texted her. I said, hey, Kalpana, I, you have been dealing this <clears throat> video uploading thing for a long time because you're wait, waiting for the perfect time and this and that. By 9 p.m., I want you to upload the video. Do you get it? 
And she said, yeah, but, yeah, but. I said, there is no yeah, but. It's time for you to upload that video. And I, I could hear, um, because I was not on the phone call, I, was, I, I, could, I could imagine she was really nervous about it because she made the video. She was not uploading it. Why? Because she had that fear of perfection and the desire for perfection, fear of not being perfect. Oh my God, the video is good, but this is not right. That is not right. This is not. I said, no, just go ahead and upload. And she's like, no, 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 but, but I have to, I have done a little bit of this. I need to do. I said, no, listen, 9 PM. I want to receive a message from you that the video is uploaded. Well, that was 7.42 PM within about half an hour. She messaged me, Bishal, here is the link for the video. Boom. See? procrastination is overcome. <clears throat> so snoozing, snooze button of a phone for the alarm clock is one of those um, temptations that many people have. Okay, another thing about the same thing, <clears throat> many people have the temptation of actually checking their phone too often. So they check their email, <laughs> check their WhatsApp, check their Facebook, like every five minutes they are refreshing. They're refreshing that on the phone to see which new message. And when they, whenever they see three new emails, they're like, oh my God, let me just check fast. Right? That's craving number one. Craving number two, temptation number two is sugar. Sugar, baby, sugar. Um, very, very important thing for you to avoid if you really want to uh, be in great health. And if you don't have great health, you're actually not wealthy at all, right? So I'm not asking you to completely cut down on sugar, uh, but for the last few months, especially last 45 days, one of the things I'm doing is I'm, I actually have no craving for sugar anymore. I mean, I, I'm like a sweet guy and I, and I don't mean, I mean, I'm a sweet guy in general, but I'm like a sweet loving guy. Um, for the last few years, I've been having a lot of sugar in coffee, in my tea, uh, especially a lot of ice creams. Anytime there is like a sweet meat, people, you know, bringing some um, kaju sweets or things like that. I, I loved those things. I still love it. But now when I have coffee, I don't take much sugar. In fact, when I have my uh, black tea in the morning when I write the Daily Mentor uh, along with Tulsi. I put a little bit of honey, but not sugar at all. So the more sugar you avoid, you're going to see that you're going to find more energy in your body and you're going to feel more confident because you know that you're avoiding that for, for your own greater good. It's going to be great. So first uh, temptation you want to overcome is hitting the snooze button. The number two is the craving for sugar. And third is other woman. Other woman. Let's talk about it. Most people who listen to the show are married men. Sometimes they're women as well and awesome. Some people are not married, totally cool. But <clears throat> we live in a generation, we live in a society, not just generation. We live in a society right now. We live in a time where options are always available. So instead of buying one phone, you can buy three phones. You can have dual SIM, triple SIM. I don't know I mean, how many SIM cards you can put on the phone. You can have multiple cars. You can have Ola, Uber. You can have bus, flight. I mean, so many different options, right? That's why most people I see today are not very much committed to themselves and in the relationships that they are in. Um, so even if they are married, uh, most often they don't give the time and the attention to the wife. And I have a saying, kiss your wife, because if you don't, somebody else will. <laughs> kiss your wife, because if you don't, somebody else will. Um, and and the reason many people don't have that passion and the power and the peace of mind in their relationships is because they are not passionate and powerful and peaceful in their own mind. So because of that, uh, they don't look at their own woman. So I'm, I'm, it's like they're married, but they don't look at their own wife. Who do they look at? That hot manager in office. That hot person who comes to the cab every day. The hot person in the cafeteria, the hot person at CCD. And, and I think there is nothing wrong in that. It's totally cool and natural to be sexually attracted to an, other people. Um, uh, however, if you're married and if you're always thinking about other women, I don't think you should deserve to be married at all. I don't, I don't think you deserve to be trusted by your spouse at all. And I know a lot of people, I do a lot of research and I have very private and confidential conversation with many people. And I see that many men today, even though they're married, when they're having sex, they're fantasizing about other women at that time when, while having sex with the wife. So it happens because of low self-image. It, it doesn't happen because the other women are more beautiful. No, it, 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 that's one reason probably. But the major reason is they don't have the self-respect. It's like, I'm not happy with my own food ever. 
That's why I keep looking at other people's food. When I get the other person's food plate, I look at somebody else's plate. Make sense? So that's a temptation you want to uh, um, overcome. If you, if you don't do that, what's going to happen is you're going to not... You'll feel like you're cheating your wife internally, though you're not having sex with other women. But even if you're not, you feel like I'm doing something wrong here. Number one, it creates that guilt in you. Number two, you're not enjoying um, that intimacy with your own wife. Because, I mean, how can you when you're thinking and imagining about somebody else while enjoying that passionate sex with your wife, right? So other women are, for in, in, um, if, if men, women are listening, if you're a woman listening to the show, other men, you know, you got to commit to one person in this lifetime. First of all, to yourself. Second, the person that you're married to or the person you love. If you don't get married to it, awesome. But if, if you have somebody, commit to one person. Fourth temptation is being... By the way, I, love, I know you, some of you are like, oh my God, he really talked about all those original things that most people don't talk about. That's right. That's why you're watching the Confident Man show, not the Fearful Man show, okay? <laughs> Fourth um, thing that you want to overcome if you have a temptation of is being inconsistent with a new habit. It's very easy. Many people start waking up early, many people start going to a gym, and then they have a temptation to go out of it. So I wake up early, then one night I sleep at 3.30. So you don't want to do that. If you want to be successful, you really want to do the things others don't do. Because when you do the things that others don't do, you get the things that others don't get. A lot of people message me and email me and say, hey, Bishal, I want to someday, I want to be successful like you. I want to be a multimillionaire, Bishal. I want to, I want to write books like you have written. I want to have a great um, lifestyle like you lead. Um, I want to have... Um, multi-million uh, million dollar business, I, I want to have, I want to consult with big people, I want to make an impact, I want to donate a lot of money like you do, <laughs> and and I, I say, I'm sure you'll do it, and when they ask me how, I say, well, I, I understand you want to have the lifestyle, but are you willing to do what I have done to do what I do now? And they said, what do you mean? I said, hey, well, here are the kind of work that I've done in the past. You know, here is how much of hard work I had to put in for the last few years to get to, to get to the level that I'm in right now. And here is how I still put in the commitment to my clients so that they can get the best from me. Are you willing to do all that? And most times there is a silence from them because most people want a shortcut to a greater lifestyle. Well, I'm here to tell you that if you are always inconsistent with a new habit, you're not, never going to be highly successful, okay? So these, these are the four temptations. The fifth one before I go is something that is very spicy, something very masala type. And that temptation is the temptation of gossiping. <laughs> gossiping. Do you know he's sleeping with her? Did you know... She had a fight with her husband. Do you know what's happening in that neighbor's house? Hey, did you see what they are doing? Do you know that my new manager... Ba, ba, ba. Gossip. Sometimes that gossip happens um, in front of a kid's school between mothers. Sometimes that gossip happens in the office cafeteria. Sometimes that gossip happens in an office toilet. Two people are peeing and... No, they're talking right and left, da, 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 <laughs> right? Sometimes that gossip happens on phone, sometimes on WhatsApp. You want to avoid that, okay? Why? Remember, great people talk about ideas. Average people talk about events. And small people talk about people. If you want to be successful, if you want to have a great lifestyle, if you really want to be a great leader for your industry, if you want to become the best person in your family so that you can enjoy more fam family time freedom with your family and loved ones while having greater level of social respect, you want to avoid gossip, you want to create things. Like you are listening to the show right now, imagine you having your own show one day. Imagine you writing books, imagine you giving presentations, imagine you playing music for your wife, imagine you you know, being the person that everybody is coming to and say, hey Rohan, hey Rahul, hey Satish, hey Shiv, hey um, Ryan, I want to listen from you, can you mentor me? Like That's what can happen for you, but you need to avoid these five temptations. So let's go over them. Number one, you want to avoid the snooze button, the procrastination button, as I call it. Number two, you want to avoid sugar as much as possible. Number three, the dreaming and the temptation of other women. Um, number four, 
being inconsistent with a new habit and number 5 gossip avoid these five temptations and you can see greater level of success for yourself how can i know because i have overcome them as well um there was a time in my life when i was uh, really really not that successful many people ask me shall how did you go from where you were to where you are well i had to overcome some of these things i had to uh, control my craving i had to tame my temptations i had to discipline my mind and nurture my soul and train my body right and i had to have a coach that's why it's very important for you to have a coach an accountability coach and a group like we have the balanced life mastermind or our community the confidence speaker conference so you can be around other successful people who challenge you and support you and inspire you to think better feel better speak better and live in a better manner in fact we have the upcoming the confidence speaker conference coming very very soon so if you don't know how to get there get in touch with one of my team members we're going to take care of you and going to show you exactly how to be here but i want to see you if you are already in balanced life mastermind This is awesome. I hope you enjoyed the show today. And hey, let me know what you feel about it in my you I mean the Balanced Life Mastermind members are the only people in the world apart from my private coaching clients and friends who have my personal number. So hey, if you're listening to the show, let me know how you felt about this. And if you have never come to the Confidence Speaker Conference, we're going to have it right here in Bangalore. That's the only place we do it at um ever. Uh, and if you want to come here, uh, join it. Most probably the next batch is full. But hey, get in touch with one of my team members, and they can tell you exactly how to book a spot for yourself at the Confident Speaker Conference, where we're going to show you exactly how to become a confident speaker, so that you can reach the highest level of your career by becoming a strong leader, by connecting with other people like this. So that just like Ajana, now now you can enjoy time freedom with your family while having greater level of self respect and social respect. and so that just like kalpana you can live with happiness for the rest of your life without stress struggle and sacrifice but with <laughs> passion power and peace of mind remember nothing will improve if you don't when you change things change for you and i want you to tame these five temptations that we spoke about today get a coach get your ass to the confidence speaker conference i'm going to i'm going to kick your ass i'm going to show you exactly how to become a confident speaker i'm not going to not just going to tell you information i'm going to get you to the stage get your feedback so that you can man break through you can create a breakthrough you can overcome your fear really own your passion your power your commitment so that you know exactly how to speak your message so that your voice is not suppressed you have an opportunity right now to really become that voice for yourself in your family in your community in your company so that you are not living just like another average dead man no you're living with power presence you're right now here there is it's not a coincidence incidence that you're listening to this message right now you're listening to me because you want to come to the confident speaker conference i encourage you to come the reason i'm saying it is because i want to see you there if you are still listening it means it means one thing it means that you're ready for a transformation it's a sign from the universe that you're ready for a transformation so get in touch with rahul or anupam or jennifer you can see their number on the screen soon and come here and i'm going to show you exactly how to become a confident speaker so that you completely transform yourself your mind your speaking your life and imagine a day where we're going to having we're going to be having a lot of fun we're going to having a conversation right here and you'll say you'll be sending me reviews like ajana has sent or just like kalpana is talking about right now right people are improving so much because they have commitment and you have commitment so i want to see you there bishal sarkar here always reminding you that confidence is not about perfection it's all about connection congratulations for listening to today's show if you're ready to become the confident man in your own life go to bishalsarkar.com and apply for a conversation today For that, go to bishalsarkar.com. All right, time for me to go. Have a confident day. Hi, I'm Deepa. I'm working as senior manager at ANZ. I think I've seen a better version of me with great confidence and I would say that I have seen a complete transformation. I've completely got rid of the stage fear and I'm able to connect with audience with greater perfection. Yeah, I was not able to connect with audience. Right? I used to get give a presentation with natural flow, but I hardly could connect with audience. I would say that I was nervous and I was losing points when when actually giving the presentation. And I would say that it was an average presentation or average uh, 
uh, talk I used to give. Now I would see, say my quality of talks have really increased because I could really connect with audience. It's practical in nature and it's not about just presentation, right? It's about complete transformation of you and really giving the basics of what it really means to become a confident speaker and it's all about connection. It's a wonderful course. I think if you're not joining, you're missing something in your life. Yeah, so not only Vishal Sarkar, everyone in the team is equally talented and everyone has put an additional effort uh, trying to add value and really added value to every single participant. I would say the course is very practical and not really boring as the usual uh, public speaking course or usual confident uh, building course. It was really practical and we felt involved throughout the course and really seeing a transformation day by day. I would say that what I have not achieved for years together, I have just achieved in just three days.